everyone, Amanda again from scrimpymommy.co.uk and today I'm going to make a lovely card. This is hashtag number two of 31 um, for my 31 um, days of uh, craft challenge and um, today I'm using the Dress to Impress stamp set which is brand new out the 3rd of January and it's all um, perfume and makeup and floral and shoes and handbags and there's an entire suite to go with it with beautiful beautiful papers um, which uh, have I got any of it? I've got a small amount of it on my desk along with lots of others <laughs> So we've got um, bold florals and then on the back of there, for example, is the beautiful um, perfumes and then we've got shoes and we've got flowers and dots and lipsticks and makeup. It's stunning. It's lovely. All right. So today I'm going with Blackberry Bliss, which um, I've got some paper to match um, from the paper stack. I need to play them on with just small um, perfume bottles on the reverse. So I've got a card base, 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighths, scored at 5 and 7 eighths, and then this is um, 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths. And I've used the um, stylish scrolls embossing folder. Alright, so that's where we're at. It's as far as I've got. Um, and that is as far as my plans go. Don't know what I'm going to do. I've no idea. <laughs> I had to make it up as you go card. Alright, so I'm just going to attach this um, panel with some tear tape. Um, so that I don't lose that lovely embossing by pushing down too hard with glue. Although... Um, it probably wouldn't, but we'll see. Right, so if I just remove the tape there and we're going to attach that. I do apologise about the quite bad lighting, as I say. Uh, once it gets to evening in my craft room, the lighting is a pants. But I always, like I say to my team, it's better to do um, than wait until you've got perfect lighting or perfect equipment or perfect this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's the sharing that counts. Right, so we're just going to remove this tape if I can get it off. Okay. Let's just give it a bit of a rub. Sometimes it doesn't always want to peel off straight away. There we go. Just give it a rub and then peel it. Okay. And then we can just do the, the bottom one, give it a bit of a rub, and then it should come away easier. Alright. There we go. Right, so that's our base with that lovely uh, stylish stylish scroll, it's called. Okay, so now I want some of this paper. To decorate so I've cut it to the same width I don't know if I'm gonna have it down the middle to the side if I'm gonna have it as a banner I'm not quite sure I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna just keep it really simple and so I'm gonna use the mini trimmer here which is a guillotine it's as sharp as anything it's brilliant and the only way you can get it is by joining as a demonstrator during celebration this year um, those demonstrators were able to pre-order it, but it's not going for general release as far as I know. Okay, so let me just, and the good thing about it is, as you can see, I can do very precision trimming with that, which you can't always do with the big trimmer because obviously it's slightly bigger. Oh, I like that. That's cool. So I think I'm just going to have that. As a band across there, and I think I'm going to just trim off just a section of it. Alright, there we go, happy with that. So what I can do now is I can glue that on, and then we'll build build from there, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> and to make it up as you go along card. But I'm going to keep it really simple. I think um, sometimes the simpler 
the better when it comes to card making and that just gives a pop of colour across that white um, background there let me just make sure it's straight I think we can do that as straight <laughs> I think that will pass right so let's decorate it with some lovely stamping so I've got a spare piece here so what shall we have mm, quite fancy the perfume bottle let's do that it's photo panel, so I'll be able to see nicely where I'm stamping and get it nice and straight and position it perfectly so let me just find a block for that it only needs a small block so that's good all right let me just get that on my block and then I'm going to do it in black ink sorry if you can hear any background noise it's uh, my family making a racket all right so i'm just going to stamp the perfume bottle first Ooh, oh i slipped <laughs> that's why there's two sides to card never mind it because it's a new stamp and i've not used it it's got that sticky film on it and it stuck to the paper and then i dropped it there we go how cute is that i'm loving that right so i think i'm going to have one of the lipsticks as well yes Let's have some of that. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll put that on another block in case I decide I want to stamp that again. And I'll just layer that on. Ink it up. And then I will stamp at the side because I think I'm going to cut them out. And what I might well do is give them a bit of colour. So the perfume, in my mind... Um, a good perfume always has a deep yellow to it. I um, My favourite is Chanel. I do wear it um, when my husband buys it. <laughs> Chanel number no. 5. It's quite strong. Some people don't always like it, but I love it. Okay. Just need to make sure your black ink has dried before you use your stamping blends. Okay. Mine was a little bit wet there, but it doesn't matter because it, it looks like the shimmer on the on the bottle now. Alright, so what I just want, I think, I just want a little touch of pink on the lid there. So let me just grab this and see what kind of colour. Mm, no, that's too, it's too, um, too dark for what I want, but I'll do my lipstick with it. Okay. Lovely, lovely. And then I'm going to just clean my nib on that one. I'll pretend that this is like the gold bits inside your lipstick when you wind it down. And then I'm going with Rich Razzleby, I think. Just put a little bit of shading on there with Rich Razzleberry. Okay, and then we'll do the handle in the darker, which was all better. All right, let me just get the brush tip. That's lovely, look at that, wow. What a lovely colour. All right. Um, obviously, you can have them whatever colour you like. You can use your alcohol markers or your mini marvellous markers or whatever you want. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is just fussy cut those out. Help me up and I'll just be a bit quieter. <laughs> yeah. I think they wait until I switch the camera on to make a load of noise. That's, I do, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> Absolutely, definitely. Nothing no surer, as we say in Yorkshire. Uh, I've, as you can see, I've lost my stamping snips, so I'm having to manage with um, some embroidery scissors at the moment. I don't know where they've gone. They've got mislaid over the festive period. Uh, somebody's obviously borrowed them and not put them back. All right. 
opened. Alright, get the aroma. Okay, that's smudged a right little bit, but I'm not worried. I don't know why they don't just try and make a bit more noise. It's just a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I do love them. Ooh, I love having all the family around at, in, at Christmas and New Year. It's brilliant. <laughs> but it's time for them to go now. <laughs> Alright, let me just trim that. And get it in the shape that I like. Okay, that's that one done. And then I'll very quickly... This one should be a bit more straightforward. Um, I always regret not getting the thinlets to go with things, but there's so many beautiful stamps that I focus all of my budget in the first instance on stamps. And then when I'm like going back through the catalogue again, if there's thinlets that I just can't live without, that is when I will go back and get them. Um, but in the first instance, I just, I want the stamps. So that's what I focus on when I'm doing my purchasing. Okay. Let me just trim that down a little bit further. I'm sorry you're having to watch me painful at Fussy Cut. Um, but that's what happens when you're a demonstrator that is too frugal to purchase the dies. All right, so... <laughs> I think I'll end up going back and buying them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load these on some dimensionals. Alright, and then we'll get them attached to our card. And then what I'm going to do is pick a sentiment. I'm not quite sure yet. I think uh, you could make this card for any occasion. Um, it doesn't have to be for a birthday. You could send a card just to say hello. I've got about a billion uh, dimensionals on there. And that one doesn't want to come off. Don't you just love it when you do a video and everything just goes perfect? I would love it, but it just never happens. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put that one on there like so. And then we're going to put this one on here. So she'll have it just down like that. They don't have to be perfectly next to each other, do they? Right, let's pick a sentiment. Um, let's have a look. We've got Mother's Day. Um, so if you're um, getting ready for Mother's Day, that would be brilliant. Hello, fabulous. Life is short. Buy the shoes. I like that. Kindness is always instant. I quite like hello, fabulous, because I think that's quite generic. And I do like to send these cards out when I've made them. And I think I could send that to just about anybody. Oh, he's, he's now shining his van lights through my window. Yeah, I'll see you, bye. <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't make this up. It's like comedy gold. Honestly, welcome to my crazy life. But there you go. Right, <laughs> it's focus. Focus is my key word for 2020. Not let anything distract me and carry on regardless. <laughs> right. I want some ink on there. And I'm going to use Memento. I do sometimes use Versafine, which Stampin' Up! don't stock. And I sometimes use it when I want really good detail on things. It's just my personal preference. However, it does smudge very easy, which is a real big pain in the neck. So, is that going to stamp nicely? That's Because it's quite new, it looks like it's pooling. Let's get the uh, stamping mat out because sometimes when the stamps are new, when they're photopolymer, you can see that the ink almost doesn't take to the stamp and it does what I call pooling. Um, and you know, the way to get rid of that is to give the stamps a really good clean. 
All right, because sometimes when stamps are manufactured, they've got like a film on them from the manufacturing process. And sometimes you just need to just give stamps a helping hand and get rid of that by giving them a good clean. Okay, so there you go. See, that stamped a lot better there because I gave it a bit of a rub and a bit of a clean. Okay, so if that happens to you, that's all you need to do. It's just a sign of a new stamp, that's all. All right, so... Hopefully that is not going to smudge. And I'm going to use my little cutter. Okay. Use my little cutter. And let's trim this down to size. Alright. And this is where this little thing comes in absolutely. It's so handy. It's brilliant. And I can line it up there with the measurements here and then push it up against the lip there and I know that that little sentiment then is going to be straight which to me is a godsend because I cannot cut straight for tougher. Alright, there we go, look at that, perfect, absolutely perfect. Alright, so what I think I might do is just attach it on a piece of card I think quite like it just like that to be honest mm. I'm just going to do it like that that is exactly what I'm going to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it minimal I'm not adding any more cardstock to it I'm not going to layer it up I'm going to um, attach a dimensional at either side okay now one is going to go on the lipstick there all right so that means that this side here is going to be lower down than that bit so what you do there is you double up on your dimensionals and on the one that's going to be need help with you know the difference in the depth you put two on all right it's easy as that and then we will have it like so. Is that stuck? Brilliant. And then I'm just going to add one of these lovely, lovely, lovely round stones. Okay. Just on there like that. Come on, don't be naughty. On there like that. Don't give up, if something doesn't go quite to plan, if there's anything you learn from my channel, it is that nothing has to be perfect and you never ever give up, you just keep going and you'll get there in the end. <laughs> so there we go, we've got a lovely, lovely card there, quite simple and now my husband has left and my house is quiet. Um, yeah, I'll get some more crafting done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll leave all of the details over on my blog at squimpymama.co.uk and I'll list all of the items that we've used today. I think that's super pretty. It always turns out alright in the end. Thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.